Hi guys, Laura here from Sepsis Education. Hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be talking about what are the after effects of sepsis. So why are we going to be talking about this? Well, post sepsis syndrome, which is what it's called, affects 40% of all survivors. And, and after the Lancet released the uh, information that said in 2017, 11 million people died of sepsis, you can imagine how many people have post-sepsis syndrome. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, already I have released a video on how post-sepsis syndrome can affect you psychologically, and that was to do with um, Mental Health Awareness Week. I'm going to be talking about the physical aspects. If you wanted to find that video, by the way, it's in the links below, it's in, I've linked it in the comments. So, one of the really weird ones is the fact that my um, temperature regulation goes completely out the window. Um, so you're either excessively cold or absolutely sweating cops. Um, I remember being in the clinic, writing my notes. I had a vest on underneath my tunic I had my hoodie, I had a coat, and I had a blanket doubled over around me, and I was still shaking. It was not fun. But then, literally half an hour later, I would be at the point where I would have to undo my tunic slightly to actually get a bit of air, and have um, a, a fan because I was sweating cobs. It was just bizarre. So that's one of the things. Your taste, your taste really changes. I, I, I remember I had such a hard time with this because for one, I couldn't finish my cup of tea. And two, I went off this stuff. But I also lost my appetite as well, so I think that was actually quite a good thing as well. I did actually lose about two stone at the time, um, which was a bit weird. But then you have a lot, you can have loss of sensation, so in your limbs. So for me, it was actually around where I had the sepsis, so around this area, because I'd had drains here. And I, and I also think it was to do with the fact that I had extreme swelling here, so I had edema and loads of fluid. Um, and if you want to hear something really funny, uh, when after the drains were out and after I wasn't having any dressings, um, I remember yawning and it being so gross it was like Niagara Falls and so one of my friends said that I had chin continence which I found quite amusing uh, <laughs> um, yeah but then that's one of the big things swelling edema like loss of sensation uh, brain fog insomnia but a really big one that I found horrendous was the sense of tiredness and when I say tiredness, I don't mean, oh, I'm a bit tired, I might just have a nap. I mean absolutely bone tired. I work in a clinic about two miles away from home. And I was working part time because I couldn't cope working anything more than that um, afterwards. And I remember literally halfway home having to sleep for an hour before then driving the rest of the way. I would be driving and I would be getting to the point where I would be so tired, I would have to stop on the side of the road and sleep. And that's how tired you can get. But with that, you also get muscle weakness and muscle tiredness as well. And so, I, the amount of times that I got home 
I actually managed to get home because I would be like, right, okay, Laura, get home, get home, get home. And so you're really kind of concentrating. And then as soon as I would get there, I'd be like, right, I'm okay here, but I could not move. I got to the point where I would call it something called lead legs because you would, you felt like you were completely made of lead. And it also was the fact that I was on um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories for months because I had muscle pain, extreme muscle pain for months, which was mad. Um, but you can have reduced kidney, uh, kidney function and you can also have hair loss, dry skin and flaky skin and nails. And if you think about it, when you, when you think of the sim signs and symptoms of sepsis, the blood goes to your vital organs. It doesn't go to your extremities as much. So it's still trying to recover from that trauma. And so this is why you can lose your hair, you can um, dry skin, flaky skin, flaky nails. Okay, uh, hope this has helped. Um, if you want any more information about anything, just give me a shout, give me a DM. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you've got any questions about what you would like to actually see in the next videos, just let me know and I will see about putting them in and answering some of your questions. Okay, take care guys. If you like this, by the way, please subscribe uh, and press the like button as well. And I'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye.